everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you my January favorites. As you know, this is the weekend that I get to announce the luxury giveaway, so you'll have to stay tuned to the end of the video to hear all about it, and I cannot wait to share it with you. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you join us. We are a family of 900 um, with a goal of 1,000 for 2017. It's pretty crazy to me that this channel is growing so quickly. Or maybe it's not growing quickly. I really don't know because I'm so new to YouTube. But I am just so honored and that's really the main reason for the giveaway that I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. I got lots of feedback with November and December favorites that you love the variety of things. So in this favorites video, I have skincare and some beauty products, some home products, some tech products, some books that I love. I wanted to give you like a really great mix of things that I'm really enjoying in the month of January. Let's dive in so we can get to the announcement at the end of the video. The one thing I knew I had to bring was my dry brush. And I just actually read on Rachel Zoe's website that dry brushing is going to be like the new thing of 2017. Um, and I totally understand why. So I got mine off of the Netta Porter website and it's by Aromatherapy and Associates. And you use it completely dry and just run it over your body before your bath or before your shower to brush off any dead skin cells or anything that might be on your skin and it also really opens up your skin to accept and get the most out of all the products you're about to use. I have been dry brushing for the entire month of January and my skin has never been softer and I really love this brush. It is really well made um, but there are lots of options for dry brushes that you can get but I would highly recommend uh, looking into it and giving it a try. So The next product I'm going to talk about is by a brand called Thayer's and it is the Witch Hazel Alcohol Free Toner and the scent is Rose Petal. But I hate like the floral rose scent. This is super mild and it actually is like a really refreshing like light smell. This toner has been phenomenal. I've been using it in the morning, I've been using it in the evening, and sometimes midday just for a refresh. It helps cleanse the skin. I find that it still gets dirt off even after I've cleansed with my Clarisonic Mia. It softens your skin, it moisturizes. I have really liked it. There are so many benefits of Witch Hazel if you've looked into it, and I would highly recommend it. You just throw it on a cotton pad, blot it on your skin, let it dry, and then you can put any products or moisturizers that you put on top. And I just have really loved it. This is actually my second bottle the month of January because I've been using it multiple times a day. Get some. The next product I'm going to talk about I picked up in December during an Origins Sephora shopping spree. And it is the Origins High Potency Nitamins. And this nightly moisturizer has quickly replaced my Kate Somerville as my all-time favorite moisturizer. I have been using this religiously every single night and I have loved it. I have noticed a difference in the hydration of my skin, but where I've really noticed a difference is in puffiness and brightness. I look so much brighter, and the puffiness below my eyes is so minimal um, when I'm using this consistently. The scent is also something I absolutely love. If you have ever had those orange push-up pops, um, I used to eat them as a kid. My grandmother kept them in her freezer all the time. That is what this smells like, and I absolutely love it. It's very reminiscent. This cream is just so nourishing and so refreshing, and I've really seen a difference in my skin, so I would highly, highly recommend this as a night cream, and it's super reasonably priced. And as you know, every product I'm talking about, I'm leaving a link down below for you. The next product I'm going to talk about is for all my fine-haired friends out there. I have really fine hair and for me to style it I have to get texture in it right off the bat and the last time I got my hair cut Elise my wonderful wonderful hairstylist used Bumble and Bumble's foam spray um, and it's called Surf and you just shake it up spray it in it goes in as a really light foam this stuff is so much better than the Bumble and Bumble salt spray it is so much better than uh, the Mia Beach I think it's like the beach spray that I was using from Sephora. This stuff is incredible. I am almost out of it, but I do style my hair every single day. It is no smell, and it's just a really light way to get texture and like that grittiness that helps you style it. 
Um, it's part mousse and a part sea salt spray, and I think it, they just found the perfect combination of both. And I will probably be using this for a very long time because I like it that much. And the last beauty skincare product is from a new brand that I found. I'm actually going to be recording an, a whole haul video and review of multiple products. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw these were delivered because um, I posted them there. But it's a brand called Herbivore. And... Everything that I got from them is amazing. I can't wait to tell you more about it. I just wanted to make sure that I used it long enough to feel really good about it. And this is one that I've used a lot and I love it. It is Herbivore's Coconut Milk Bath Soak. So basically all you do is you fill up your bath, you pour in a little bit of this. The smell is like pure coconut your skin will feel so soft especially pairing this with the dry brush before your skin will feel so soft and smell so good um i love it it's super relaxing and just really luxurious and a lot of these bath powders that you put in your bath you don't really feel this like you don't smell them as much and this you smell and it go a little bit goes a really long way which is really nice because I don't know about you but I feel like some bath products like don't go far once you mix them with that much water and a little bit of this really makes a huge difference in your bath um, and I've really been enjoying it. But... The next product I'm going to talk about is a home product and it won't be a surprise to anyone who watched my me time video last weekend because it has quickly become my favorite candle that I've probably ever burned in my house ever. And it is surprisingly by a celebrity. And um, a celebrity that we all probably love because you are my people and we probably all love Sarah Jessica Parker. And the candle is simply called SJP and it is every mix of warmth and sweet and spicy you could ever want. It is cardamom and ginger and clove and cinnamon. It is just the perfect winter fall candle. Um, I got mine at Neiman Marcus. It is already sold out there, but there are many other places. I'll leave alternate links where you can find it. It runs about $48, but it burns for a really long time. I've already bought two others, so I have them waiting in the wings because this is my favorite candle. I actually will carry it from like different rooms just to make sure it's with me. Um, I love it. Can't say it enough. So we talked about skincare and beauty and I shared a candle for home. So let's go ahead and dive into some tech favorites this month. The first one I'm going to talk about is this 12 South Apple Watch case. I have absolutely loved this case, especially for traveling. So. It opens up and you can lay all of your bands and your power brick and then wrap your charging cable around the outside. And what I think is really, really special and really, really smart is that the power, the power dock for your Apple Watch actually fits in the top of the case, like so. And then you close it when you're not using it and you can just lay your Apple Watch across the top and charge your Apple Watch while everything is neatly concealed within this little container. I was able to just throw this in my duffel bag, carry it with me, and have everything I needed for my Apple Watch right in one easy package. Really, really love this and highly recommend it for everyone who has an Apple Watch. The next piece of technology I'm going to talk about is something I've been using for selfies in my Instagram game. And like I said, my Instagram game still needs to be upped and I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Um, but one thing that I've really been loving is this LiDPo ring light for your cell phone. I had a Lumi case for my iPhone 7, but what I found is that case is just way too bulky for me. So then I don't want it on all the time. So sometimes when I needed the light, I didn't have it, or I'd have to switch the cases, and it was just a nuisance. This is really small. You can throw it into your bag, and when you want it, it clips onto your phone, and then you just turn it on. And it has three different settings of brightness, and then turn it off, throw it back in your bag, charge it up when you need to. Really, really great. Um, yeah, if you don't like the Lumi case as well because it's too bulky or too expensive, I think this is a really great option. The last piece of technology I'm going to share with you is something that I saw on Melissa Soldera's site and I decided to buy it at the end of December and I have been loving it. And that is the High Mirror. 
It is a smart mirror and I love skincare. And this mirror analyzes your skin, sets goals for you and what you should be working on, and then actually tells you what kind of products you should be using. And then you can actually take photos of the products you are currently using and have them stored within the smart mirror. It is really a really great tool and really accurate. Currently I'm working on some brightening um, and it measures my skin every single day and analyzes it to see the improvement and I can actually track the improvement on the app on my phone as well as on the mirror. But this is just a really, really cool product that's really accurate. You can also buy a scale and do a whole other health aspect um, and body measuring. So really great product, highly recommend it. If you would like a video um, tutorial on this, please leave a comment down below and I would love to film one because it has taken a little bit of practice and work for me to get used to it as well. But now that I'm used to it, I've really been enjoying it. Now it's time for my book favorites, which is one of my favorite favorites to share with you. And The Mothers by Britt Bennett is one of my favorite books. This book follows three characters from teen years to adulthood. It is about secrets, how choices you make impact your life, ambition. It's, it's just a phenomenal book and it revolves around a girl, Nadia, whose mother commits suicide. She makes different choices that really impact her life and I don't want to give too much away. I just have to tell you to go buy it because it is so good. The next book favorite I have to share with you is this a lovely, lovely cookbook. This is probably the best cookbook I have bought in a long time. And it is Oprah's Food, Health, and Happiness. And it's 115 recipes. And she has taken the time to write beautiful stories behind some of the recipes. And I also love that, like, the, like when it says, like, to preheat the oven to 350, blah, blah, blah. So many times it's just, like, listed out. This is like written in like a narrative, descriptive, beautiful way. And I really enjoy it. Also, the pages are just laid out stunningly well. The photographs are beautiful. Every recipe has a photograph, which I love. Um, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous cookbook. What I also really love, I love matte. And this whole book is done in matte. So the pages are matte. The cover is matte. I actually leave this out because I think it's so beautiful um, on my kitchen counter at all times. It's just a really great cookbook. And I've made four recipes out of it this month and everything is absolutely delicious. So, so the last three favorites I have are just fashion favorites that I've really been loving. The first is this North Face quilted lightweight jacket, but it is so warm. It is waterproof. You can literally roll it up and it packs up within the hood and you just drawstring the hood. You could throw it in a duffel bag. It takes up no space. I love traveling with this. It's just a really, really great coat for people who don't like a lot of bulk but still want a lot of warmth. I highly recommend it. There's a hooded version and a non-hooded version. Get the hood. You will thank yourself later. Uh, the next fashion favorite I have is one that I have loved. I have received so many compliments on these two items. It's two items, but it's going to be delivered as one. And it is this set of silver and copper um, shoes from ASOS. The silver ones that I purchased, I've been just like styling them with like a lot of black and people have always commented on like, where are your shoes from? I absolutely love your shoes. This is a really great way because I dress really simply. So I will throw on a pair of cuff jeans, a simple Oxford, but just by tossing these on, the whole outfit takes on like a hip trendy vibe. Um, and the pieces that I'm wearing are actually quite classic. So I really love them. And the copper ones, I've actually been pairing with my camel coat and they are amazing. It's like the perfect shade of copper and they have jazzed up so many simple outfits and I love them. So my last favorite is something I got at the end of December that I've really been loving. I didn't vlog a lot in December so sadly they didn't get a lot of airplay. Um, but they are by Makita and Bernard. 
and they are a set of gold aviator sunglasses that are so light. There are no screws in them, so you don't have to worry about them loosening up. They're like hinged and the metal like is kind of pliable and bendable. But these are the sunglasses that Sarah Jessica Parker wears in the opening scene of Sex and the City 2. Those gold aviators mirror lenses she has, these are the same exact sunglasses. And they are so light, so comfortable, you could literally wear them all day and not even realize they're on your face. That's how comfortable they are. They're the most comfortable pair of sunglasses I have, hands down. Um, but been wearing these all month and I've really, really loved them. The only downside to these sunglasses, to be completely honest, is because they are mirror, they do get fingerprints. So I feel like I am always wiping them off, but they are just so darn cool and hip and fun. Um, so I will take having to wipe them off. And now it's time to share the news that I've been so excited to share with all of you, and that is about the luxury giveaway. I plan on doing a lot of giveaways on my channel, um, but I wanted to make the first one really special, and I was thinking about it and thinking about it, and then on my anniversary, Steven surprised me, and it was a really great moment, but then I immediately thought, that's the giveaway. So in February, Steven and I will be traveling to France, um, partly staying in Paris, and then going to Versailles and staying there. And while I'm in Paris, I'm going to stop at the Louis Vuitton store and pick up a small leather good, and it is going to one of you. So I will be vlogging the entire time we're in Paris and Versailles, and I'm actually going to record purchasing the giveaway small leather good from the Louis Vuitton store in Paris. In order to be eligible for the giveaway, I'm making it simple. You have to be subscribed, and you have to leave a comment on this video. I will be double checking um, to make sure that you are subscribed and you left a comment. But no matter who wins, I need you to know that I am so incredibly grateful for all of you deciding to become part of my life. So with that, I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Until next time, bye-bye.